Right now we have 400 pair, so 400 mamas. And then this is where they calve all the heifers, the first timers, and RC likes to calve heifers. He does all that shit. So I mean, you're like, you're that deep in a cow's ass, trying to get, like have a backwards calf, trying to get chains around it, cow shitting in your face, after birth in your hair, it's three o'clock in the morning, snowstorm, foot of mud. It's either you do it or they die. <sighs> it's not really my deal. I got too much snowboarding to do in the winter. Oh yeah, they're hungry. Yeah, it's real simple here, you know? It's just like people work for a living. There's no snowboard scene. Like there's no, there's people that snowboard maybe around here, you know? But they don't really get what I do. Being a professional snowboarder to them is like I'm an instructor or something. And like my family understands it, but like just the average guy around here doesn't understand it. Which is cool, because I come home and it's just talk about ranch and shit, weather, cattle. All right, to the mountain. It just seemed like take forever to go drive down through the ranch. But we'd always have our guns, we'd shoot. There used to be tons of these rock chucks up in here. We'd shoot those coming down. Always looking for something to shoot. Dad, can we shoot him? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're bloodthirsty little fuckers. But in my older years, I don't kill anything anymore. I just like, it's funny how you tame down. You're like, oh man, I just love all the animals. I'm not sure this qualifies as a road. <laughs> what? <laughs> you mean my trail? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Travel all over the world and this is still, I'm just in awe when I come up here. Oh, just walk around, man. Just walk around. Get lost in your own head. It's good. It is big country, man. In high school, you know, I was an all-star fucking football player in the state of Wyoming. Did like the Shrine Bowl and shit. But I never really like got the jock mentality. I never it was really like, I was down like for the whole team thing, but like there was just something that I didn't really like about it. But you know, I got a college scholarship. I went to college for a second. I played football and I was like, dude, what the fuck am I doing here? I just had this whole like visual in front of my face. I was like, dude, okay, I hate football. It made me hate football. I can practice and practice and practice. Like, fuck this, dude. I'm not gonna play in the NFL. I'm too short, first off. I'm not fast enough. I got a lot of heart, but that's not gonna get you shit. So it came back here, I'll just never forget it. And I was like driving down the road with my dad and I was like, hey, you know, I don't think, I think I'm gonna drop out of college. He goes, you know, Mark? He goes, you'll always be okay as long as you work hard. And that was really good for me to hear. So I just, I was like, okay, I'm gonna fucking drop out of college. I'm gonna work here for a year on the ranch, work my ass off, and then I'm gonna go, let's fuck off for a winter and go snowboard and see if this is what I wanna do. And that's what I did. I moved to Bozeman and I, I spent a winter at Bridger. And uh, that's where it all started, man. And I was just like, oh, I found snowboarding again. And it was just like, that was it. That was my path. I knew it. Yeah. My dad was not supportive in the beginning. You know, he expected me to be a rancher, you know? Everybody expected me to be a rancher, you know? Everybody intensely, you know? They're like, they thought I was just like fucking off, snowboarding. You know, that stereotype and, and I just like kept at it. I'd work hard in the summer, save up, and then just go, I guess fuck off in the winter and snowboard, but like I made those connections and I just wanted it that bad that it was like, it was just super attainable to me. I just saw it in my head. I was like, I can do this. And I dropped into the game late, man. Like most people were pro by the time they were 20, you know? I didn't turn pro till I was like 25, 26. I was like, I wanna be in the mountains. I wanna snowboard. And that's what I chose to do. And it, uh, it kind of worked out. I have a shoe problem. I have a boot problem, I have a board problem, 
I have too many fly, well, you can never have too many fly rods, so, like, that's not a problem. Let's go catch some fish. Good little El elk hair caddis. We'll see, uh, see if they want that. See if they're hungry for that. The thing about fishing is it's so fucking quiet. It just feels so good. <laughs> Sometimes snowboarding does become a job and there's people invested in you and when it's on, it's on. Maybe you might not be feeling it, but like you just got to suck it the fuck up and do it. You have to get fucking gnarly, man. There's like gnarly days where you're like, there's shit that, you know, you're committed to doing. But at the same time, there's that thing in the back of your head where you're like, okay, don't fucking fall because that's very, you, you know, I mean, it's gnarly. It's putting your life on the line at some point. And that's what's nice about coming back to the ranch is I can kind of like step away from the really gnarly shit for a second and, and, and charge my battery back up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, this is a good one here. Get that fucker out of there. Oh, hey big guy. Hole. Holy shit. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh. Oh. That shit makes me real happy, dude. <laughs> that was a, whoa, dude. Big old bald eagle. Is it a bald eagle? Radical. It's always a good sign. Big fucking fish, bald eagle. I mean, dude, the spirits are, are real good to us today.